Right, YouTube. Uh, Sir Daniel, nineteen seventy-five, back again, and back here with the well, not back here, but starting the new um, X-wing, or should I say, the old X-wing? Uh, obviously, because this is a box from uh, the re the repackage is from. Let's see if you can see that in there, nineteen ninety. So originally packaged, the original package style is 1982, um, but uh, yeah, and that's actually kind of cool that it, it well actually because the 91 um, says Return of the Jedi, but I bet you that 82 one said Revenge of the Jedi when it was first packaged. So we're going to take that and set it over here, out of the way, and... As we can see, it's an old AMT kit. Um, some of you, like me, have probably built some of these old AMT kits uh, from back in the 80s and 90s. Uh, I did the Shuttle Tidarium back in the 90s when I was in high school, and um, I had a lot of problems with it. The, a lot of the parts were warped. It was a real pain in the you-know-what to do that one. So, um, this doesn't look like a whole lot of parts. However, the uh, the engines uh, have uh, four parts and stuff like that. But it uh, um, doesn't look too bad. It is a snap kit. And I do have some glue out because I might want to glue it. But um, and it does come with the option of landing gear. But I don't like the look of the landing gear. I don't think that it looks uh, authentic. So I'm probably not going to use a landing gear. But I think I'll, I'll use the stand. Because th this one apparently comes with a stand. Um, I like it in the flying mode anyway. But like the other X-Wing, it looks like the, um, the wings will swivel. The S-foils. So... Um, I think I'm going to get started. So right now I'm starting one of the engines. And I've updated some of my tools, so I got these uh, nice new little wire clippers, which people use for for uh, clipping off the model pieces. And I've also got um, a new X-Acto knife, which uh, I'm happy about. So. And I just like to run a little sandpaper on things before I do anything. So, anyway, uh, interesting side note. The um, directions, I'll pull it in a little bit closer here right there suggests glue so even though it is a snap tight or a snap kit um, it's still suggesting glue so alright so and yeah you're like oh my god you're using super glue and not special model glue I do have some model glue um, I've had trouble with it holding well and so I don't generally use it. And that's the gel stuff, which, by the way, I happen to really like the gel stuff. It's not runny. 
So that went together fairly well. And then this is supposed to snap in here, which I'm going to uh, put a dab of, dab of glue. It's a small dab. All right, that's one engine. Um, also, let's see if I can get, zoom in. It's, there's a seam line there. Um, there's several ways of dealing with that. I'm going to try the X-Acto knife. And I think I took off too much plastic, but it's okay. extremely sharp and fine. I think I want to use a file for that. You know, a file. So. Yeah, just take out that line, that seam. So anyway, that's the engine, and that's about probably as good as that seam is going to come. There's a little thing here. Let me get that seam. I don't like that. So, anyway, that's one engine. When I come back, I'll have more done. Alright, I'm uh, ready to assemble the parts for uh, one of the wings. Well, at least most of the parts. Um, so, let me get started on that. I'm going to save the two flat panels for the, these sides for, for another clip. But, anyway, um, I've trimmed and s sanded everything. Um, this model is a little different from the other X-Wing, from the Ravel kit, obviously, because it's two different brands. Um, but there, there was a couple, like one part in here that reminds me of the other model. So. And yes, like I said, it's, it's a snap kit, but I am using glue hold things in place. I might come around later with some other glue to um, to do certain things. That was the wrong piece right there. It's a good thing I looked at that. So it won't go, fit in. One piece has got to have a... Or is that piece just a goof piece? There is a goof piece. Or is there one that has a peg up? Aha, yes. So I'll put that piece aside for another one. I need to quickly trim apart. They're all numbered the same, but one of them was slightly different. How about that? So, you'll see me do a quick trim here. Yeah, that all looks pretty good. I don't need to do anything else. Okay. So 
come in here. And actually that was really funny that they're different because it makes no sense to make one that different. I don't know why, unless it's different. Is the detail different on it? No, the detail's the same. Uh, one's got a hole in the center instead of a peg coming out of it, which is kind of weird. It's the only one that does that. All right, <clears throat> now let's put on these things. Front of the engines, the intake. And if you look at them, it's, uh, let's see, you're getting camera there. Okay, there's a recessed spot and an accented, uh, a risen spot. So you, you know which way it fits in. It's only one way that it can go in properly. And many model kits do these types of things so that stuff fits rather well. It can be tricky with probably some of the more advanced kits. Probably don't have as many uh, cheats on them to make it easier for people to build it. <clears throat> so that will go in there. I actually did a quick glance to make sure all of these engine parts were the same. So, again, this is the the 82, 1982 X-Wing model, which was, this was the reprint of the 1990 release, still in the box, that I got for free. So anyway, there's some of the uh, parts together. And uh, when I come back, I'll have the other flaps to go on top, and then possibly uh, and then after that I'll do another wing alright All right. I'm getting ready to put together the final wing let's see let's do the the oddball blaster piece that was causing a problem before and if you're watching you notice I have a band-aid on and yes I cut myself <laughs> um, if my friend Ryan happens to watch this he'll He'll, he will get a good chuckle because he knows that I'm always cutting myself. It's kind of a standing joke between us. I'm usually running out of band-aids and he's usually having to supply a new band-aid. <laughs> Of course, the uh, X-Wing is one of my favorites. It's most people, a lot of people's uh, favorite or one of their favorite ships from Star Wars. How could you not like the X-Wing? You'd have to be a crazy person to not like the X-Wing.
Um, as I'm working on this, I I think that's a little bit better detail than I was thinking. The ship. Um, I think that's going to make it nice to paint. So um, I'm excited about that, and I might have. I well, don't see those look like the landing gear spot. Okay, yeah. So yeah, there's going to be some extra holes in this and whatnot that don't get. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll have to put some filler in if I want. Um, anyway. <clears throat> yeah. So one of the things that uh, um, I do like about the super glue I'm using, this is the gel kind. And uh, it helps prevent a big mess. One of the reasons why people say don't use super glue when uh, when you do models because it generally runs everywhere. And uh, and that's not something you want. All right, let me make sure I get that lined up. Yep, that's the one that goes. That one goes on this one. Okay. So, and it, another thing here where one the peg one has a peg and one does not. It's really funny. It's a lot easier when the peg is sticking up. All right, there we go. That snapped pretty well. So that's those two pieces, both wings. All right, step number four is to attach them. spot I'm not anyway here we go we got the wings pretty much together very cool I guess if I wanted to make it um, that version I could do that and it be the landing kit version but I think it's gonna make it another flying version Um, in which case, I might, there's a little peg in there, and I might clip that, I don't know. We'll see. So, anyway, I'll catch you on the next clip.